up guys I'm gonna go over your homework that's due next Thursday the slideshow and here it is the f final version so if you just need this you can go ahead and pause it otherwise I'm gonna go in step by step on how to do it so the first thing you want to do is get your images together in a folder and as you can see I have mine here so once you get your images into a folder you then drag and drop it into your package. In this case, my package is CSE Homework 6. And here are all my images, which are the playing cards. And as you can see, the last thing on the end is a number. And this will be very useful when we want to change the image. And you'll see why in a bit. So let's get started. First thing you want to do, as always, is import these guys and this dot star means everything and usually if you're unsure on what to import but you knew it had to do something with an event then just put dot star and it'll import everything um, and you can always hover over it um, and it'll give you more details so import these guys create your class it's going to extend JFrame because we're doing the uh, GUI um, and you always extend JFrame for that so, what's the second thing we always do once we have our class built? And that's defining our variables and constants. So, let's do that. So here are our constants we're going to use. We have the number of slides, which is going to be 10 in our case, and the show time per slide. And this isn't a thousand seconds, it's a thousand milliseconds. Um, and that is equal to one second. Next thing, we need this current value, uh, variable, which is going to change. And that's actually going to uh, change according to these images. Because we want to change images because it's a slideshow. And this will change from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 to 8 to 9 to 2 um, and repeat. And we, of course, we want to show something, so we need this label here. So let's create a new label, and that's going to show our image. Next thing we want to do is create our constructor. And we want to add this label. And it might seem silly, it's like we just made a label, what, like what does the add have to do? Well, the thing is, is you can define everything you want, like labels, text fields, buttons, but it's never going to happen. You're never going to see it unless you add it. Um, so that's another thing you have to do. If you define any of these things, you have to add it if you want to see it. And now we're going to set the icon of this label to images slash playing card club 2. And that's right here. Images slash playing card club 2. So that'll be the first image we'll see. And it should be a 2 of clubs. And we need a timer because the images are going to change um, second by second. And that's what we're passing in here. So we're going to change second by second. And we're going to put a new listener. And we haven't made that listener yet, but we're going to. And we're just going to start the timer. And here comes this listener. So anytime you're doing something that involves an action, you have to do an action listener. And by action, I mean like a, a click. So somebody clicks your button um, or an event happens, uh, you need an action listener. And um, it, it, it does what it sounds. It, it just waits for that action to happen. Um, and the action that we're going to put in is this. So we, we're, we're going to make this method and it's going to take in an event and what it's going to do is change the icon, uh, change the image that we show. And this is like the whole main part of it. Um, we're going to do images slash playing card club plus current plus dot jpeg and we see that current is changing. So everything over here to the left is going to stay the same playing card club and to the right dot jpeg is going to stay the same but the only thing that's going to change is this current value which is starting off at 2 
and then it's going to go to 3, to 4, to 5, to 6, to 7, to 8, to 9, to 2, to 3, to 4, to 5, and so on and so on until infinity. So what does this do? We're, we have current plus 1 mod the number of slides. Well, the number of slides is 10. Current starts off at 2. And the mod is basically setting the, the repetition and that's how we get it to go from 9 back to 2 constantly. Um, so we know that current is 2. This is the initial case. We know that the number of slides is 10. And let's just start doing some math. Well, 3 mod 10 is 3. 4 mod 10 is 4. And now you're like, well, why don't I just do current plus 1? Well, you're going to see when we start getting up to 10 mod 10, it's going to go to 0. And then 11 mod 10 is going to go back to 1. And then it's going to repeat 2, 3, 4. So we are showing images 2 through 9. And that means that current is going to be 0 and 1 at one point. But we don't have an image for that. So what does that mean? We're going to have 2 seconds, 1 second for the 0 and 1 second for the 1, where nothing is going to be displayed. It's just going to be a blank uh, window. And we'll see that happen. So now, let's make our main method. And rather than me describing this stuff to you, I'll show you. So let's run it. And it's taking a little bit to load, and finally. So here we go. This is our slideshow. And uh, it's going second by second. One, two, three, four, five. And then here comes the zero and the one. One, two, three. So that was what I was talking about before. It was blank for two seconds. Um, so now let's go over this. This set title right here, that's right here. You're just setting the title of the window. This set default close operation, exit on close, that exits this window when I hit this button. And I know we're all used to that happening anyway when you just hit this button, but the fact is, is you can actually change this to do whatever you want. You could hit this button and make three windows now appear and it's almost like a virus. <laughs> so if you want to play a prank on your friend, try editing their code and change this in their code to instead make three windows instead of exiting on close and uh, see what happens. And this set size um, sets the width, which is 250 pixels, and the height, which is 300. And if you don't believe me, I am going to manipulate it manipulate it right now to show you. And the set location just centers uh, the frame. And the set visible just makes it true. So that's going to seem silly. It's like, of course I want it to display. This is what I'm making. But when you work on your project um, that's due next week, the poker project, you're going to want things to disappear and reappear. And so the set visible will be very useful to you. Um, not very useful for us right now because, of course, we want it to display. Um, so let's change some things. I will exit this and I exit it on close. And I'll make this, you know, 1250. And I'll make this 1300. Well, I'll just manipulate this one first. Um, let's run it again. And it's going to take a loop. OK, now that definitely changed the width. Um, and I'm sure you'll believe me that this is the height. So there's some other things we could change, too. Let's go up here. And let's change this from one second to, let's say, a tenth of a second. So I just cut off one zero. And let's see what happens. Boom, going a lot faster. So you could have fun with this. You could change it to a hundredth of a second 
and whatever you want. Um, but I encourage you to do things like this, to once you make it, start messing around with it, start changing some things. Um, but it's, it's really important to remember the key points of this, which is that this mod operator, you always use this when you're going to do something repetitive. If you need something to repeat, um, like we did here, then you're going to be modding something. And most likely you're going to use 10, um, but it could be a, something else. And another key point is that um, your images need a number at the end, otherwise this would be impossible. So you can't just put a whole bunch of cute cat pictures here and expect you to, and then expect to have a slideshow. You need um, your image file to end with a number here, because that's the whole thing here um, that's doing the change. And aside from that, that's basically it. This, this should really help you for the project. Um, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down there. And make sure to vote on the poll so we can add a new video um, for whatever you need help with. Thanks.